Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to downgrade your iDevices to an unsigned iOS version using Future Restore Windows. In this video, we will downgrade to iOS 14.8 on this iPhone SE, which is currently on iOS 15.7, which is the latest version currently as of making this video. Yes, you can use the same tutorial to downgrade to any lower version of iOS 15, for example, 15.1, 15.3.1, and so on, provided you have the SH SH blobs saved. You can also downgrade from iOS 16 to iOS 14 or 15 on your A11 devices using the same tutorial. Also, guys, this tutorial will work from A8, A9, HN and A11 devices. Now to downgrade, you will need an older version of iTunes. The latest version of iTunes will not work. I will show you how. Now guys, first of all, close iTunes and we'll have to uninstall it completely. Right click this PC, manage. Now go to device management. With your iPhone or iPad connected, just you'll have to uninstall these devices simply uninstall device put a check mark here uninstall if you find as many other apple drivers please uninstall them this way now head to programs and features from control panel and you'll have to delete everything related to itunes so i will begin with itunes uninstall it all right, when iTunes is uninstalled, you will have to uninstall these also. Apple application support, Apple mobile device support, Apple software update, and bonjour. So I will quickly do it first. Also at this point, disconnect your device, all right. All right guys, I have uninstalled everything related to iTunes. If you have iCloud, you can leave it in. The best version to use is iTunes 12.4.3. So you can download it by searching it and then use the first link and then download it from here. Now simply install the older version of iTunes. Now when it is installed, click on finish. You might see this error so simply go to your drive c users your username and then go to music itunes and delete itunes library next download a zardig just search for it click on the first link scroll down and download it to your windows computer so i have already downloaded zardig right click run as administrator yes go to options list all devices now put your device into dfu mode all right when your device is in dfu you will see the list and it will show up here in dfu mode now if the driver for lib usb k is already selected you are good to go because i have done it already so if it is not showing up here you will just have to tap these little arrows select usb k and you will click replace driver and likewise the driver will be installed successfully you can close it minimize zarding now open the gestures folder now open a cmd and then simply drag gaster into it space pwn press enter and you will see that now you can boot untrusted images now you are good to go to use future restore now simply close it go back and open zarding again go to the dfu mode apple device now you'll have to replace the driver with win usb Click replace driver. The driver is being installed. All right, so the driver is installed successfully. Close it, minimize it, 
you will notice that iTunes is not detecting the device yet you will have to make sure that iTunes is detecting the device go to the device manager again uninstall the DFU mode device click uninstall put a check mark here uninstall now simply scan for new changes and the device should show up here and iTunes should show up your device if it is not working you can right click on start settings update and security you will see that it will automatically install this Apple USB device driver installation iTunes must show your device in recovery mode just tap the serial number once you will get the EC ID right click copy it you will need the save blob for the version you want to go to and the IPSW for the version you want to go to you can open the TSS Savers website click retrieve and paste your EC ID here submit and open link you will get all the saved blobs for the versions if you see a 404 error it means that you haven't saved any blobs in that case you can try using shsh.host click on find my paste the EC ID and then you can find the blob and download it so I want to downgrade to 14.8 and now simply download one of the blob next you will need the IPSW go to IPSW.me select your device so I have this iPhone SE1 scroll down and I will download the IPSW for 14.8 because it is the version I want to downgrade to now click download and download it to your computer simply open CMD and you'll have to drag future restore here hyphen T T is your blob now type use pawn dfu set nonce latest sep latest basement and now drag the IPSW here press enter and now booting IBS I back don't worry you will see this error unable to find device unable to send IBAC component but the nonce is set now just go to the device manager again and you'll have to right click iboot driver uninstall device put a check mark here and uninstall scan for changes now again go to CMD press up arrow this time you will have to remove set nonce and use pawn tfu and press enter baseband will be downloaded again so now the file system will be extracted from the IPSW and now you must see a green screen and now the downgrade process will start sending restore RAM disk you can close out of iTunes and the process will continue so there are no errors no nothing I am not pausing this video to make sure that you see that everything is working fine updating Stockholm updating baseband all right guys as you can see finally restore finished and restoring has succeeded all right guys finally you can see 14.8 on my iPhone SE the latest version is 15.7 you can check it out in iTunes and on my device and here is the CMD that I have used to restore the device back to 14.8 now guys before we end the video here is the compatibility chart that you can check out 6s se and 7 are fully compatible 
but iPhone 8 and 10 need to use the iOS 15.7's SEP and baseband in order to downgrade from iOS 16 and I have some troubleshooting tips for you so if you see this unable to send iBack error you have to rerun future restore and that time this will work also if you see no data to read error along with all the required switches or flags you will need to use hyphen j or hyphen hyphen no hyphen rcep and this will fix the no data to read error also to fix activation issues on a11 or any ios 16 compatible device to downgrade to 15 or 14 you will have to use this flag custom latest build id 19h12 and custom latest beta this will fix the activation issues because it will use 15.7 sep and basement that's all for this video guys if you still have questions you can always ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon i will see you in a new video goodbye